Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Yes, no, yes, no, maybe, yes, so, yes, yes no, no, maybe, yes, so, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, uh, yes, no. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Would you like uh, to quit? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give him the mouse. Give him the mouse. Hey, what are you waiting for? Give me the mouse hold. Hey, what are you waiting for? We're, we're, we're waiting for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 oh, that's my help. I'm Jizu. I do. And today we're back in the new episode of 999, where Lotus is asking us what we're waiting for. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh. Do you we're want to wasting change? time. Why don't we hurry it up? Do you want to change the orientation real fast just in case we get to cutoffs? I'm okay. No. Okay. Because I can see it. As if a spell had been broken, the others... I can see all this. <laughs> As if a spell had been broken, the others all began to talk at once. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven. Six. Seriously, honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. <laughs> you too, Santa? I have to find my brother. My, what? <laughs> wait, wait, all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. Let's keep playing the game like Zero wants us to. <laughs> there has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. All right, right, Jumpy? Say something. Oh, yeah, last time we were here... Lotus wants us, oh, like, Ace yeah. to be left behind, and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. His words sounded hollow and fake. Just like Lotus's tits. <laughs> Fine! Jeez! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! She spun around and ran toward Ace. I'm dying. He had slumped down next to the bed where June grabbed his arm and pulled. Come on, Ace! Please stand up! You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way out that we can all get out of here. Then it happened. Then it happened. It happened. Uh, I give up on this. Ace fell forward. He slumped over onto the wooden floor, his body folded in half like a boxer out cold. Ace! June cried out and dropped to her knees beside him. She put her arm around his neck and did her best to lift him up. <laughs> what happened to Is she something? She shook him frantically. His eyes fluttered open. <laughs> I'm all right. His voice was weak and slightly slurred. How, how are you fine? Yes. He held out his left arm and slowly opened his hand. <laughs> oh, ah. And it was a syringe and a small vial. The vial was empty. It had only recently been emptied. A few drops clung to Don't the Don't worry, I just used morphine enough to take down an elephant. I had some... <laughs> I had to I take had my... Some extra hair on my head. <laughs> I was he pretty good inside. It lifts up the hand and it's a fucking, pi a, a fucking uh, spoon <laughs> yeah. and a lighter. And his uh, hand is all wrapped up, or his arm's all wrapped up. That was about to... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm so used to it, I don't even need to wrap up my arm anymore. <laughs> Look, my skin's tight enough. <laughs> there was a label taped to the side of the container. It read Saporeal Beta. It read Sapporeal Black beta. Tar Hell. <laughs> Saporeal Beta? J Junpei had no idea what it meant Sapporeal or what kind of... Beta. Sounds like a beer. Or what kind of medicine it might be. It was my diabetes medication. Did you did you use it? Yes. What are you using, bitch? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just an anesthetic. I'll be fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms. Thought it might be useful. Later. Yeah. For what? <laughs> For what? I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. <laughs> Why'd you do this? <laughs> didn't I tell you? I, I was shooting a fucking assault. <laughs> I, I thought I said that real word. Whoa! <laughs> I thought I just stuck. I thought I stuck you when you sat down, but I got confused. <laughs> I must have hit my own ass. I'd like to take a, take a nap. Here I am. Very tired. 
Junpei knew it wasn't wh why he'd done it. Damn you, nature, for giving me a woman's ass. I keep mistaking it. <laughs> Ace had ejected himself with anesthetic to force stall Junpei and Jun's attempts to bring him along. If he couldn't move, there was nothing they could do. He injected himself so that they would be forced to leave him behind. <laughs> Ace! Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I think it'd be really funny if Lotus goes, All right, we need to leave someone behind. And Ace goes, I guess I'll die. And he actually just, like, had a heart attack. <laughs> just, 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 no, well, well, that was convenient. I was going to say, yeah. No, Jinsu, he pulls a fucking um, uh, knives out. Well, I guess it'll be me. <laughs> oh, God! Why did you do that? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No! Don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm. So comfortable. <laughs> I, I think I... She's 16! <laughs> They're in college. Are they? Yes. Yes! Uh... She's 22! <laughs> and he's like 50! <laughs> still, still a problem! I think I'll have a nice dream about Lotus. Ace's eyelids drooped further and further, almost as though he were dying. Yeah. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! She shook his shoulder again and again. Ace, what? Ace, but in Italian. Ace, Ace. But this time he didn't respond. I said, Ooh, you. I'm blinded by the light. Only what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Only the gentle rising and falling of his chest told him that he was alive. Junpei was relieved to see he was, in fact, still breathing. Sad. He lifted Ace up on the floor and laid him on the bed he'd been leaning against. You mean sitting on? No. When Junpei turned around, Lotus gave him a look of pity. Well, we really don't have a choice now. Wait, wait, wait. We can't let sacrifice go to waste. Right? Yo! She wasn't feeling any remorse. Junpei was sure of that. Still, he held no grounds upon which to oppose her. It felt wrong, but he had to agree. And suddenly, Santa spoke! Ho, ho, ho. I'm Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in that in what door. In what door? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Think fast, chuckle nuts. Well, <laughs> enough, enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. Let's screw. <laughs> You first. We're screwing you first. <laughs> Which door do you want? I, uh, I want door number eight. Same number as my bracelet number. <laughs> okay. You're eight. No! <laughs> I'm at least a ten! You're next, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want? Servant! Ah, <laughs> I can't get along with that old lady. Oh! What? What'd you just say? Her face disordered by rage, Lotus took a step towards Seven. He threw up his hands and made a face like a child caught in his hand in the cookie jar. Let me at him! Let me at him! Let me at him! I'm a boy! <laughs> You're gonna get it next time. I'm a <laughs> She shot him in the chest. <laughs> she shot him in the <laughs> chest with a, with a 38. She shot him a glare that would have melted steel, then turned and stalked off. <laughs> she shot him in the chest with a 38 snub revolver. He it survived, why? Because there's a <laughs> wall! <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? Santa gazed, Santa's gaze moved across the three people left. Finally, they stopped on Junpei. Junpei, which door do you want? At last. Junpei's mind was already made up. Uh, door three, door seven, door eight. Do we want to go with seven or lotus or neither? <laughs> which one you feel like? Neither. <laughs> I, I, would, I would be cool with seven, but I'm, I'm also good with three. I would be cool with eight. <laughs> I've got my fill with lotus. <laughs> Wait, guys, look. If you turn the eight sideways, it's infinity! No, it's titties! Uh, <laughs> he's a beast! <laughs> Materialism versus uh, existentialism. But yeah, I could go either three or seven. Uh, three or seven. Oh! What happened? Oh. 
Okay. Junpei's mind was already made up. Yeah. It, it was uh, like I just pressed up and. So don't do that again. Yeah. Okay. So three or seven. There is seven. Uh, Jizu, flip yourself. All right. So flip a, flip a card. I was gonna say. Wait, Jinzu also said eight. Yes. Or were you joking? No, I'm saying. Okay. It was the only other option. <laughs> oh, you're flipping for my choice. Who? Wait, which one are we not doing? Eight. Okay. Because we already did Lotus. We were already with Lotus. We could still head, go with Lotus. Head is seven, three is, is, three is tails. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do it again. Onto your phone. Onto your phone. Hell no. Ow. <laughs> you don't let go of it. <laughs> Ow. What is it? What is it? It's tails. Uh, no, that doesn't count. Aw. Oh, stupid bitch. You stupid Here. fucking bitch. It's heads. <laughs> oh, you stabbed yourself. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm fine. Heads. Which, what was heads? Seven. Seven! We're gonna go with seven with seven. Duke, are you ready to do that voice? <laughs> ah, let me out! Let me out! I'm a warrior! <laughs> Junpei. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the number seven. Okay. Seven it is. Yeah. Yeah. Alright then, that means June's gotta go through door eight. What? What? We've left our girl. What? Cause you're the love interest. <laughs> oh, the girls go together. What? Santa grimaced and muttered angrily to himself, but finally began to explain. If the six of us are going to keep going without leaving anyone behind, there's only three ways we can do it. If you did the fucking math. Plan A: go through seven with three, five, and eight, and go through eight with four, five, four, six, seven. Plan B: go through seven with four, five, seven, and go through eight with three, six, eight. Plan C. Go through seven with six, uh, three, six, seven, and go through eight with four, five, eight. Plan D, this organization. Plan E, this organization. <laughs> I like how it didn't include three, like, at all. And that's it. What do you mean it didn't include three? It, it, it just said go through seven and eight, like, all of the entire time. Oh, oh, yeah, no, because, like, it you three people have to go through. Which means, I mean, in chose, all fairness... chose seven. And Lotus already chose eight. If yeah. we picked three, then one of those two would have had to change their option. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Digital root. Fake numbers. <laughs> In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Yeah. As Santa finished, June looked over at Junpei, tears welling up in the corner of her eyes. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're saying that we aren't going to see each other again for a long time? Junpei felt as, as you did. And he wanted to be there at his side to over what trials they prepared to face. But he knew if they were to survive, he had to swallow his feelings. In order for the six of them to move forward, he and June had to be separated. He looked at June, he was scared to lose her, but he swallowed... <laughs> it, looked, it really looked like he said he swallowed steel. <laughs> <laughs> he swallowed, steeled his resolve, and did his best to smile. So I missed the numbers. Are we getting uh, Santa, or are we getting Clover? We got seven, us... And no, 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 Santa. I'm saying, like, who was the other one? Oh, please it was 357, 368, or 358. I do, not, five. I do not remember, but please let it be Clover. Please let it be Clover. Because then hey. I can just give her the give her June's voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. You're okay. Oh, sorry. You gotta <laughs> split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up, but then two. But what? Huh? We got, we got split, split up, up then, too. then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're still they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. So baby, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> probably. She didn't sound very hopeful. It was it was seven that interjected. I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Uh -huh. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't connect, another team can get through door nine. Neither team can get through door nine. Nine, nine, nine. In other words, the game would end right there. Yeah. Zero's been on top of this shit so far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'd blow it now. Can you imagine Jigsaw like, I like to play a game, but he's just on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the first time I've heard Zep7 talk like that. He's been on top of this shit. <laughs> well, he's like an undercover cop. Oh, okay. I think. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. Yeah. He's not going to end his game until we get through the night door. Uh, uh, uh. 
June said nothing. The tears were gone, but her eyes were still sad as they looked at Junpei. He met them, and what reassurance he could manage, he laid his hand gently on her shoulder. Everything's gonna be fine. Why do you sound like that? <laughs> We're gonna see each other again. Why do you counting? I promise. <laughs> June bit her lip and gave him almost an imperceptible nod. Yes. Promise? Her voice was barely above a whisper. No. Santa's voice shattered the moment. Hey, you wanna hear about stacks? <laughs> I'm walking over here. You guys are done, right? <laughs> he stretched and continued. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. Figure I'll take eight and Clover. Yeah! Can take <laughs> In that case, since um, Ju since it's June paid Clover and seven. Is it a, for this time being while we're separate? Junpei is now voiced by Jinzu. What? Why me? Because then, because then. Basically, so we all have our share of voices. Which would you like to take? Would you like to take Junpei or um, seven? seven? Oh, I'll take. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's a good choice, right? <laughs> Either the main character or that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I I'd give him a different voice though. Yeah. I'd give him fucking. It's up to you. That's why I'd say Junpei, because Junpei is kind of bounced around. Oh, yeah, he's bounced around the most. But seven, we can keep the... Well, let me in, let me in. I'll, do, I'll do Junpei. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I really like Duke's fucking... Not, not <laughs> no. Carl Weezer. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, Clover. <laughs> Any problems with that, Clover? We'll readjust when we get back with everybody else. No. Cl <laughs> Clover looked away and was silent for a moment. Whatever. It was more of a dismissal than an agreement, but Santa didn't seem to care. All right, we're ready. We're ready to go then. Let's move. I like how only Junpei is the only one that isn't going with the same group that we were with before. Like it's it's literally Lotus, Santa, and and June, going all together. Yeah. <laughs> at, San at Santa's command, the group split and headed for their respective doors. It was Christmas Eve. <laughs> Clover, Seven, and Junpei walk towards door seven. Santa, Lotus, and June headed for door eight. We've not interacted with these people, it's nice. For a long moment, they stood in front of the door. Seven took a deep breath. You guys oh, ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go. Touch, touch, touch. Touch. <laughs> Junpei, I fucked your mom. I'm your dad. The door had opened. <laughs> just completely like glossing over. It's just like, what? The door opened, wow. A narrow hallway stretched out before them. Seven and Clover leapt through the door. The moment they did, their bracelets beeped. Beep, 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 beep. The detonators in the bracelets had been activated. Junpei stepped forward to follow them. But as he was about to step over the threshold, he stopped. He looked to his right, toward door eight. June stood there, a mirror image of Junpei. She turned and looked towards him. Their eyes met. They nodded. Their farewell took, took almost 1.5 seconds. Wow! <laughs> so you gotta go. I, thought said, I thought it said 15. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, yeah. Someone took hold of Junpei's arms and hauled him bodily through the door. Uh, this thing's happening. End of game. He heard the sound of the number door slam shut behind him. Dude! His bracelet gave a yes. cold... <laughs> you have three seconds to live, He-Man! <laughs> His bracelet gave a cold electronic beat. beep. Only 81 seconds left! Who's counting? That... No time to waste, guys! Let's get moving! <laughs> Seven led the way down the hallway. Junpei and Clover followed him as fast as they could. Uh, at what they seemed like far more than 81 seconds, they reached the end of the hall. Curious how time works like that. To the left of the wooden door, they found the dead. Uh, there was no time to rest or catch their breath. All three slammed their hands in quick succession over the scanner panel on the dead. Uh, uh, uh. Bye, He-Man! <laughs> Till next time, He-Man! <laughs> <laughs> panting, panting, panting. Everyone's panting. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Wait, that's not panting. <laughs> Still trying to catch his breath, Seven leaned heavily against the wall. There he is. Fuck! <laughs> it stopped! It stopped! <laughs> his smile seemed forced and a little crooked. This is the second time we've gone through one of those numbered doors, but he never really got used to it. He stood up straight, no longer out of breath, and wiped some of his sweat from his head and neck. Clover smirked at him. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. What? What the hell did you just say? I said balls. <laughs> Where's your balls? Say it Mr. again, I dare you. You have no... <laughs> you know what, you want to die? I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Fucking brat! All right, let's go. They just—he just snaps her in half. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for uh, this. This, whatever this is, <laughs> it's not gonna do any of us any good. Ha! <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I forgot what Junpei. Yeah. Junpei sighed. You gotta take some getting used to. Yeah. Sometimes he wondered if the doors of the puzzles were really the greatest challenge they faced. Wait here for a minute, all right? I'm gonna go see if there's any other doors. They didn't respond, but Junpei wasn't in the mood for a conversation anyway. Can you imagine the stupid things that they're gonna talk to us about? <laughs> First, he, he examines the inner part of the numbered door. If we're lucky, Clover's still depressed and she won't say shit. No! <laughs> it was, of course, shut tight. On the left was a single short hallway that termina terminated almost immediately at a thick iron wall. Junpei doubted the wall could be moved. <laughs> at least he gave up and returned. At last he gave up and returned to Seven. He was tapping lightly on the wooden door. Dong! 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 This door is the only option we got, right? Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> it was a metal plaque bolted above the door. It read, Operating Room. It was to be believed the room on the other side of the door was an operating room. <laughs> oh! How do you get that good, Junpei? <laughs> Something about, about it made Junpei feel nervous. Well, there's no point in standing here. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. The operating room. Seven grabbed the brass knob. And... <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, as I was talking, I was just like, what's waiting for us? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, you're trying to do the fucking stick me in a whistle. Seven grabbed the breast. I did it by accident. Nest, I wasn't trying is the thing. Not stick me in her. Her Herbert the pervert. Yeah. Herbert hey! The pervert. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you... Bitch. The uh, creak of the hinge uh, sounded uh, like the uh, groan uh, of an old woman. What? A chill snaked its way down Jupe's spine. Oh, wait. Uh, someone give us a groan like an old woman? You. <laughs> Quickly, he gathered what courage he could and took the first step into the room. Seven followed, with Clover right behind him. Sorry, Junpei, that was my penis. <laughs> That's what they're operating on. <laughs> Part of the room just past the door was obscured by a screen. Clover's curiosity got a better of her, and she darted past Junpei to peer around the screen. Yeah! Oh, is it Snake? Her scream nearly blew out Junpei's eardrums. <laughs> he and Seven ran towards Clover to see what fr what had frightened her. They rounded the screen and caused and the cause of her outburst was immediately clear. Ah! Oh. It's a dummy. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be Snake. Just <laughs> fucking <laughs> guts out, fucking <laughs> dead as shit. Is. Guts out, nuts out. <laughs> guts out, nuts missing. That's not Junpei oiled Wh up on the Where's table. my gook? Where's my gook? Is this a corpse? Uh, I it was something that looked kind of human, lying across some sort of bed. <laughs> no, not a bed. An operating table. <gasps> the table sat on the rusty steel lift, <laughs> and, a, uh, <laughs> and a cluster of bright operating the lights stood... Operating. <laughs> the, operating room. the operating lights shone down on it from the ceiling. Slowly, they approached. Hello. <laughs> I'm a bit miffed about... My name's Manny the Mannequin. <laughs> I will be your upper I hate for today. <laughs> You're gonna take out my heart. You're gonna take out my bones. But literally this time, not metaphorically. 
I, I'm married. If we get rid of the balls, it can have it to me. Oh. You have to replace more fucking asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> As they got closer to the body, it became clear that it wasn't a body at all. Clover overreacted. What the hell? That's just Manny the Mannequin or something. <laughs> Is that Manny the Mannequin? Clover did not look terribly comforted. Slowly, she approached the operating table and looked as intently as possible from as far away as possible at the thing. Junpei then immediately got irritated that this is what she screamed about. Phew. Junpei can see her relax. You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. She heaved a great sigh of relief and wiped a few drops of sweat from her forehead. But only three! No more. Seven smirked. Heh. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. What's your opposite? Shut it! What'd you start with me, fatty? Ah, oh, what's this? You want a piece of me soft stuff? Uh, uh... Yeah, bring it on, you whale! <laughs> Jeez. Before he had no balls and now he's fat. let me at him, let me at him. <laughs> hey, guys. Not again. Bogey. Bogey. Seriously, knock it off. <laughs> I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm fucking irritated over here. <laughs> Junpei sighed and shook his head. Anyway. Oh, shit. Anyway, it looks like he's not... Looks like he's got something on the two of you. Looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. Ah! Uh, I'm talking about a hat. Oh! Huh? Burn! On this? You mean on his chest? <laughs> yeah. You're really trying to do it, and I commend you for that. <laughs> I don't force it too much. It's that... I you actually just, do kind of... <laughs> you have one, yes. Yeah, so I, I, I have, like, the, the fucking buck teeth that makes that whistle. <laughs> it was set a little higher than normal for a human body. Yeah, it makes body. that whistle. But for the shape of the organ, it could be a no doubt that it was a heart. Scarecrow! What are you talking Wait, about, no. boy? Uh, tin Man, Tin Man. Why would you be hard in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. I think it's a man! <laughs> You think maybe it's like a med medical mannequin or something? Like oh, many the mannequin! <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's got more personal uses. Look at Seven's face. <laughs> Wait, thinking about use. thinking about personal uses. <laughs> that face. It, maybe it's got more. Seven's good was more than a little perverted. Ah, oh, that, that's perfect. It's perfect that you did his voice like that. <laughs> yeah, it's got more personal uses. <laughs> the Clover glared at him. Anyway. Hey, that is you! <laughs> oh shit, anyway! How about we take a look around this place? How's it, feel? No. How's it feel to be voicing someone who you never see? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. It's fun, ain't it? Sure thing. <laughs> die! 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 Seek a way out! Die! Die! No, there's no way that it's gonna say that. There's wait, no way! Wait, wait, wait! Seek a way out! Seek a way into the Seek mannequin! Away. Seek a way out! Seek a way into the mannequin! At a... Seek a way up that butt! Let's oh. do it. An operating table! Oh! You think these old operating tables are like this? I have no idea. What Conversation about uh, the history of operating tables? <laughs> I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on this display. You think maybe it's a scale? Oh, was it... Huh? <laughs> There's some sort of lid on this thing. Why don't you try opening it? Can't. There's no handle. Can't get under it with my nails either. Have you tried your hands? Something that looks like it could be a scale next to the operating table. It has something that looks like a lid on the front of it. Great. <laughs> it's an old operating table. The medical mannequin is lying on it. These dolls are really kind of creepy, you know? Hey, it says something here. John. No, you were wrong, Jitsu. His name is John Mannequin. Johnny Mannequin. <laughs> Johnny Jonakin? You think that's his dog's name? Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's you. <laughs> I'm John. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is creepy. I don't like that Sevens is right there. So it's the whole June Junpei thing now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for, you know, a bed. for a completely different reason. <laughs> now it's like a, it's a creepy medical mannequin lying on the t bed. Apparently his name is John. All right. Well, what about gone. that blanket over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing else. 
It's a medical mannequin with its butts showing. Uh, from a nerd? Oh. Ew. Gross. <laughs> hey, Junpei. Ew. There's a slit in this Ew. thing's chest. Whoa. That was definitely used for more personal reasons. Yeah, sure is. There's something in there. Maybe we can get it out. <coughs> Damn it! Maybe try using your hands! This <laughs> thing they will burn! Yeah, this thing will burn! You suck! Stop it! <laughs> well, I guess you can't use the voice on this one then. We need something small because they need you to hand it to that little. <laughs> hand. I got another plan! <laughs> <laughs> I got little hands! <laughs> Don't worry, guys! We need something small! I got this! <laughs> See, it's internal organs. Something we can fit into those cracks. Maybe we can take out some of the internal organs. All right. Check the table. Table. I, uh, we I should take all of this. Forceps. Hmm, which one should I get? The Forceps. All of these very useful tools are the one that's lit up the color. <laughs> oh, not the scalpel. Impossible. Yeah, it's dirty and broken and probably dull, and we shouldn't use it. And also used. And used. Yeah, I was about to say, and uh, infected. A scalpel, that's not rusty. Seems like it was put here for a reason, huh? Uh. You think he's telling us to cut something? Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact. As a matter of fact. Is there anything? Oh, wait. Grab more stuff off the table. I think they're all rusted. Table with a scalpel and forceps. They're all rusty, though. I don't think they'll be real useful. I think forceps don't need to be non rusty in order to be useful. You can see that the thing's internal organs. If we had something that could fit into the, those cracks, maybe we could take it out. Some of the internal organs. Ah, stop it! <laughs> I, think, I think it's, um, I think it's a, uh, cut out the heart and something underneath the heart of Manny the Mannequin. But let's check out what he has. Check the blanket. Or that. Oh, no, forceps! Kosher. Kosher forceps. Also used. Are those oh, scissors? thank God, it's not pork. Are those scissors? They look kind of funny. No! That's probably a pair of kosher forces. Like the pickle! Surgeons use them during operations. They can hold blood vessels shut and keep tissue out of the way. You can use it to pull stuff out of small holes or something like that. Yeah, we got it. All right. Also, I, I like how uh, it was uh, Jinzu, uh, like, went basically to read, like, like bump forward. And I went, no! Look for it, first word. No. <laughs> oh, thank God! <laughs> Cloth. Cloth. Oh, it's windy! Ah! Hey, yo, windy! Where's the rest of you? <laughs> Where's the important stuff? Another medical mannequin? Oh, looks like this one's a chick. Uh -huh. She has a name, too. Lucy. Lucy. This one has a name. Lucy. <laughs> Poor thing. Lucy. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and left arm. I really want to stay at her house. Lefty Lucy? Yeah. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to gather all of her parts. Ah. Lucy's head. <laughs> End of statement. Lucy's head. Maybe something will happen if we gather all of her body parts. Uh, it's uh, there's some kind of device here attached to the bed. It says KG on the panel. S uh, is yeah. There you go. That's is you. this a scale? All right. And nothing else. So in other words, it's supposed to be that we gather all our pieces and then once they're even, we can get out. What's oh. this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Maybe it's a here? There's nothing easy. Oh. There's nothing inside it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, okay. The most up. Oh, look. Fake chest. Fake chest. I wonder where this one goes. Fake chest. Look, a whole perfect. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to need 10. Guys, I'm going to need like five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to need like 10 seconds. I'm going to. Uh. <laughs> Guys, we need to glue them together. I know what to do. <laughs> There are a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look look like medicine. They've got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. The drawer is empty. Yeah, nothing here. Uh, I wonder what's now in the Now those drawer. two drawers right there. Oh, Maybe you're supposed to eat something with that gauze to kill the bacteria? There's a boiling thingy over there. Why would you use gauze? To burn. There's nothing on the lid or in the drawers. <laughs> oh! oh the <laughs> guys, the exit! <laughs> Go cut that thing open. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Do forceps. <laughs> Use boobs! Fake organ! What? Fake organ! What? Get another one! 
Wait. Ah. We gotta switch the item. Nah. Are you all you <laughs> The organs are organ. Ah! Really clever. I expected more from you. Oh, like you could do better. And my tokapi <laughs> earmuffs. <laughs> what? A partition. Nothing suspicious about it. Scalpel. So we just got Tear the fake organ. Tear out the heart. We don't. Uh, no. Uh, we <laughs> use the forceps. If you pull out the lung on the right, there's still more stuff in there. Ah, uh, that's what we gotta do. You got you click the wrong thing. You can slow on you. You fuck off. Some... <laughs> Chenzu. Chenzu. <laughs> <laughs> Click the heart with the with the scalpel. Oh, <laughs> I already did. Oh my! Let's put the let's put the fake chest on. There you go. Lucy's head and left arm is still. Uh, maybe something will happen if we gather all of her body parts. Ah, oh, okay. This bed doesn't look very comfortable. Wait, wait, wait. I, we used the wrong tool on the thing. Go back to the, the organ guy. Organ. What other tool we got? What happened to the forceps? Try combining the scalpel. The with, combine scalpel with fake organ. Uh. Wait. Uh, let's just... uh, uh, combine, combine, combine. Combine. Let's try cutting it. Oh! Let's try. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Of course, the organ key <laughs> from Oregon Trail. Ah! Oregon is busy. Whoops, I keep clicking on that. You, John is just lying there, Fucking menacingly. John. <laughs> Fucking John. It's like a lid on the front of it. Can we? Can we? Can we go? In? No. So move the thing. Well, let's go to the. Ah, Shit. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a lid on the front of it. Let's uh, wait, 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 click that at the drawer. See if there's a drawer with the uh, boiling tools to sterilize them. There's nothing there now. Something on the lower shelf. A lot of medicine. I wonder if one of those is a laxative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds kind of gross, but I'm pretty sure every one of us has had the same idea. If we had some laxatives... Which one will make us shit? Maybe we could crap out the bomb zero put in us, unfortunately. Damn it. I don't know what medicine does to put you here. <laughs> Is there something this way? Yeah. 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 Cool. It's unlocked. Yay. Oh. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. boy. It's a what? piece of paper. What's this? Is this some kind of medical record? For John. New, New material has been added to the file. 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 The, the medical record. Ah, John and Lucy. 51, 53. Okay. John so is missing... skinnier than Lucy. <laughs> no, no. We're missing four body parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. The, oh, the chest is the last one. Yeah. All right, let's. Oh, I know. There's also a heart or something like that. Uh, so, two, yeah. yeah. So we need we to have find... five parts. We need. Yeah, we no, need. That's it. how many kilograms it is. Oh yeah. But it's outlining it as like this is like important. So that's what I'm saying is like. Wait. These are the individual parts. Wait. How could how could John be less kilograms than Lucy if all of his stuff is a little more than Lucy? You're reading too much into it, Jinsu. We'll be figuring this out next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time. Ah, stop. Mine. Stop it. No. No, I will ruin you. Easy, Patsy B. Goodbye.